So last minute I was invited to go to the beach for dinner tonight and I thought you guys would enjoy it if I turn it into sort of a Valentine's Day, um, maybe like a dinner look for you guys. And it's kind of cool that I'm filming at night because you could really kind of see it shine and come to life if you're going out for a night date. Um, this would be something you could wear through a candlelight glow. It's got a lot of shimmer in it and specific highlighting to really draw attention to the irises of your eyes, center of your eyes, um, a lot of inner glow. It's a very matte highlight with a very soft kind of satin sheen so that will really show up beautiful at night. And then um, very easy lips to wear that should stay on through eating and drinking. So I hope that you enjoy this look and enjoy it as much as, and have as much fun wearing it if you do decide to wear this for Valentine's Day as I'm going to have wearing it tonight. I know it's not your typical Valentine's Day colors, but I think it's a very sexy, sophisticated way to do a typical silver smoky eye. <laughs> Thank you for watching. So it might appear a little darker in here because I'm actually going to be filming this tutorial at night. So anyways, to get started, I am doing the Andalou Naturals Luminous Eye Brightening Serum. The All Natural Face Magic Vegan Eyeshadow Primer. And blend it out. Anyways, I am going to be taking a Tarte Skinny Smolder Eyes Pencil. This is the color Onyx. And I'm going to just fill out the outer corner of the eye. And these are very creamy, so you don't need a lot. And I'm just going to blend it in using the smudger side. And you do have a lot more time to work with these than if you were using um, the Urban Decay pencils or the Milani pencils, which dry very fast. Okay, so I'm going to take this, um, this was an exclusive palette from a, um, a Point Rewards perk and I couldn't pass it up because I love Too Faced. This came out a while back, but if you have um, any of their Smoky Eye sets, it should have a silver. Um, I believe they had a Smoky Eye palette, I'm not sure if it's of round anymore because I think they made the Smoky palette, uh, re redid the Smoky palette, but one of them had Silver Spoon in it. But if you have any silver high metallic sheen, Go ahead and take that. It just needs to be a silver with a good amount of frost and sheen to it. It doesn't have to be like a chunky frost. Take Heaven, which is this manila e shade. So any really soft, pretty highlight shade is going to rock for this look. It, like I said, none of these colors are exceptionally exclusive. I just like the way that they work. But it's really hard to find exclusive colors to any brand these days. The beauty of that is you don't have to go out and purchase every single palette. It's always good to have transition shades or highlight shades that are pretty much almost your skin tone. Like a virgin, which is a subtle gray. And I'm going to start blending from the outer corner. And like a virgin is from um, the Naked Eye palette. And Heaven was from the Natural Eye Palette. We go over the outer corner with Smolder. Smolder is actually from um, the Smoky Palette as well. So again, if you don't have any of these uh, colors, they're pretty... Um, you can find them in other collections. They're pretty common colors. I just really like Too Faced's texture and blendability. So I'm just doing this in the outer corner and the crease going more into the crease, deeper into the crease. So we're not really sticking with the deep socket on this. We're blending it quite high, just so that the eye can appear a little bit bigger. Sometimes when you purposely go too low, especially on a small eye, it's like drawing a map, like saying I have a very small eye. So I don't really recommend uh, purposely staying overly low, because I notice if I do that on my own eyes, I'm, I'm really kind of uh, cutting the portion of my eye. So I do recommend absolutely even on smaller eyes um, blending a little bit higher. I mean you don't have to go up to the brow bone and be uncomfortable about it but just don't cut your eye portion in half. Uh, Tarte Skinny Smolder Eyes Pencil yet again and this is going on the lower lash line. smudge that out on my lower lash line using the kind of the little spongy smudger. It's kind of a stiff sponge. It's um, I guess you could find something at the drugstore like that to blend out your pencils. And now I'm going to take Silver Spoon again 
This is going to go on the lower lash line because we're just doing kind of a simple classic smoky eye, but I'm trying to show you how to make it look a little smooth and very pretty and not harsh. Mulder again for the lower lash line and the outer corner. I just really want the color of my eyes to pop, and I think that's going to be most achievable by blending in some other neutrals other than silver. I'm now going to take the Tarte Smolder Eyes Pencil, and this is the color Champagne. Satin Sheets, and Satin Sheets is from the Naked Palette, and Satin Sheets is like a goldy champagne pink. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to go ahead and place that. Josie Moran Argan Oil Magic Marker. I'm going to place this at the upper lash line. Flick the wing past the actual eyeshadow to get that more cat eye shape, but I want to keep it a little fresh by not bringing out the eyeshadow too much either because I don't want it to be too hard. I want it to be a little sweet. So now I'm going to take the Urban Lux Vegan Mascara in Waterproof Black. And we're going to do the upper and lower lashes. I'm actually going to take the Mr. Winks lashes in number 120, which are these long, pretty, feathery ones. And I'll be right back. Too Faced Romantic Eye Palette. Now I'm going to take this shimmery white. And I definitely dust it out, the brush, so I can use it. If you need to take a clean brush, do so. I just want to add a little bit more to get like a really pretty, smoky eye that's going to be like really... Um, eye catching by candlelight. I'm going to take just a little bit more of that again. I'm going to pop this in the center of the lid so it just brings out the iris and just really stands attention. So you're going to get that really pretty gleamy eye that's going to be super beautiful if you're having a candlelit dinner. And a little underneath to just sort of do that little trick underneath as well. Take the Too Faced Aqua Bunny. face powder. I think perfection is, or as perfect as I can get. I'm not perfect. I'm going to take Benai Banana Luxury Powder and get this on with my Ecotools brush. Put that underneath the eyes. And now I'm going to take the Oil Absorbing Mineral Veil. And this is a little lighter and it has no color. So which is what I want for the remainder of the face. And this look, I'm getting ready to finish it off. So I'm going to take the Tarte Blissful because it's definitely my color, I think, especially with having blonde hair. Some of my coloring could look a little drained. So I love this blush because it really brings it back. And especially with working with cool tone eyes, I feel like I need some warmth. Raw color um, from Natural Beauty. It, or sorry, Natural Transformation Brightening Powder from Raw Color. This is in the shade Peaches and Cream, and it's basically a matte with subtle shimmer, or should I say satin? And we're just going to put this on. It does have a very nice smell, so it's kind of fun to apply, and it gives you just a very gentle glow. So I just layered the lip with Josie Moran Magic Marker in Cha Cha, which is a beautiful pinky coral, as you can see. You can carry this in your bag if you need it. Which, what's beautiful about it is that it's not going to get all over your food or your date or whatever it is for Valentine's Day. So I think they're true for Valentine's Day. I've recommended them for the three years I've been on YouTube for Valentine's Day use a lip marker 100% and I do love the Josie Moran ones. I used Waltz actually on my birthday because I was going out with my friends and my family and I did not want to um, to have a disappearing red lip because the basis of my look was red lips. So I was like, I'm going to get a lip marker. So I, I have that as well if you'd like something more neutral with the beautiful red lip for Valentine's Day. And what's pretty, pretty about these, it's subtle enough looking so it doesn't look like you, whatever color you pick, it doesn't look like you have on too much lip product. And just to add some moisture as well, the Wine Country Organics Organic Lip Tint, and this is in Pinot. It's basically made with grapeseed oil. Look, that's the eye look, that's the face look, and I hope that you enjoyed this look, and thank you for watching.